When Tulani Ngobo, popularly known as Peach Black Afro, burst into the entertainment scene years ago, his star shone brightly with hit records and high popularity in the country. Now his unique rapping style image garnered him awards, her popularity and love amongst his peers and the greater community. Now at the time, no one would have imagined that years later he would find himself on the wrong side of the law. Hi to Dumelan, good evening. My name is Tabo Molokwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we are in conversation with Tulani Ngobo, popularly known as Pitch Black Afro, to find out more about uh, when his life uh, took a new direction after having been convicted of culpable homicide, life in prison and what's next for him. He joins us in studio this evening. Uh, Pitch Black Afro, much appreciated for coming in. Ah, the keep on my chops. Thank you for calling me in. Yes, yes, man. Uh, much appreciated for honouring uh, the invite. Um, I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I think everyone now would want us to address the elephant in the room yeah. before we get into uh, a whole lot of issues. I yeah. want us to, to, to just look at when the country was shocked, uh, when the news, uh, you know, broke yeah. uh, uh, that you were in trouble. I mean, it, it, it is, is it possible? if I may put it that way, that uh, you could take us through what was going through your mind as everything was unfolding that time. Yo, okay. That will be quite difficult because at that time I was, uh, how can I put it, uh, easily put, I was dead. Mm -hmm. I that because um, when, when that incident happened, I understand like, uh, uh, yeah, but good. What can you think? Because Manje is the first time that a, a good something like this happens to you. Understand? Yeah. So my wife passing, understand? And every uh, and like my life, uh, you know, would revolve around with that woman. Like you know, like I didn't know what to do. Like uh, yeah, but good. Like I'm saying. It changed something it, in like you. I died there. Mm. I died. I, something died there. Yeah, one was left there, you understand? Mm. And so I couldn't, yeah, I'm as good to go to Natin, but the understanding of the situation uh, was like, yeah, one being echo, like, yeah, one, I was just going through a process. We have one a blank, yeah, to Everything mm. was just happening. Like, you understand, I remembered it after. I got, oh, go on, Jay. that's what happened. But yeah, I got like, yeah, I was blank, I died there. Mm. Just uh, maybe take us through uh, of the impact that this had on you. Oh. I mean, from someone who has been a pu in the public eye for a few years, I mean, with uh, hit songs, uh, you know, and then. Yeah being called a superstar and then you see headlines, you see people, uh, yeah. you know, just writing uh, things such as uh, Peach Black Afro is a yeah. killer, Pe yeah, Peach yeah, Black yeah. Afro has taken someone's life yeah, yeah. Uh, and stuff. How, and also how do you feel uh, about the role the media played okay. in this whole issue? Yeah, but it was said, it was said um, when I saw uh, Abantu who didn't know what happened, but uh, were judges, we are told that in. I want to become judges so very fast, we are told that especially the media. The media, I think, in media, I think they were just selling a story, stories that they don't know, you understand? Like the story of, um, I beat up my woman, understand? And there was blood everywhere. Then I took her head, then I wiped the wall with her head, we are trying to die in. Then, then I put it back on her. We are trying to die in. Yeah, one of things like those was like, how can I be so, uh, be not even ridiculed because being ridiculed is, is, is an understatement, but to be made such an animal. We are trying to die in. When, when is all. I made them happy and good, uh, good, uh, and like all that, and they don't know what happened. I tried that thing. Yeah, when that was saddening. I tried that thing. Seeing about mom, about mama, about my what what league. I don't wanna say I'm a cam. About my what what league. Yeah, keep a lap. About pet my pod. But please, yeah, pitch black mass. Hi, I was showing mass hang. What 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 what? That was so saddening. 
Because people don't know good and the the way mina enga boshonga kona was so very much unfair. Ngoba maje pega nshanga na no muni baba a police station all the chicken exen you have one dating ngai eight. After eight days, in I get it, I did. Nambuza, get it, time. Hi, man. And tell him, it's a certificate. You have one day. Man, Nambuza, we are calm, man. I have one, you try. But, oh, that is why you you don't do your job. Is the Nando start to eating in the morning. And it, um, yes, I'm, 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 yes, you understand? So among figure court, you have the first thing. Pitch black must die. I laugh. <laughs> you understanding it? Uh, I know the truth is gonna come out. I mean I'm thinking, oh, is it to you have one? Oh, the next morning, I don't have remorse. I'm a murderer, the face of a killer. What 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 what? Oh, I was like, ha! Oh, I want to can kill you like this, Ganti. That's why I think it was it was saddening, come on, it was not even yeah, it was heartbreaking. Jaya yeah. Mobona I mean, um I understand what you're saying, talking about how the media played yeah. uh, a role in this, uh, you know, creating a different narrative uh. Uh, to what actually transpired there. But when you received um, you know, the conviction, the sentence, yeah. did you ever think that uh, you know this was it for me, my life is over? Uh, 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 in Davaguti, um, mean, uh, I don't, uh, I, it wasn't like that because, you no, know, uh, the judge called me over and told me what, uh, and told me what was happening, you know, because the whole process, they never found anything, uh, no good against me. I wondered, in, they tried there, my visa, no prosecutor tried looking, uh, okay, much, uh, you understand. But the judge called me and told me that ah, I'm fine. You are a victim of circumstance. It means you are at the wrong place at the wrong time. It means you go, you will fall somewhere somehow. So please accept that and take the fall. And we will try make something because you are a celebrity. Yeah, but an example will be made. You understand? I was told so much. I mean, I was ready for it. You are trying to so, and I knew good Anything about good, uh, uh, you know, good, which will happen, understand it like uh, uh, good. Firstly, you have what, like I told you, like me now at that moment, like I was oblivious and uh, not oblivious. Marin Oloyam was not there, yeah. I was dead in Jayam, at all. so I didn't care anymore. Cutting in your fire or buying Zani, Banglashir in Lion's Den in the fire, at all. I didn't care anymore, but when they told me that. I was like, oh, all right, these people, yeah, we understand that. So I'm like being made a, a sacrifice of some sort. Yeah, trying that thing. Yeah, because I said, man, actually, the whole thing, yeah, one, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, it was that. Tulani, let's park it there. We're going to take a quick get break. When we come back, I just want us to, you know, um, get into. Uh, this whole issue and also looking at uh, also your plans moving forward. Uh, my guest tonight is uh, Tulani uh, Peach Black Afro Nuovo speaking to us about what's been happening in his life during and after prison. We're going to take a quick break. We're coming back after this. Welcome back, you're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Molokwani. Before the ad break, we started the conversation with uh, musician uh, Tulani Pitch uh, back Afro uh, on the events leading to his imprisonment. He's still with me in studio this evening. Uh, I mean, Pitch Black Afro, um, you touched on various things before we end. Uh, mm. we, we, we went to the ad break there. Yeah. Um, I mean, in 2020, that was in June, um, mm. the court pronounced um your guilty um verdict, verdict. Uh, you know of culpable homicide um, um yes you've touched on it a bit uh, before the ad break but do you think that the case was handled uh properly uh i mean from the sentence to the investigations and also i mean you spoke about the plea bargain uh that you had to walk around okay. you know certain things so that you can be able you know to 
I mean, now yeah. you've received a remission of sentence. Yeah. Uh, that's why you were released, uh, because uh, initially oh, you were sentenced oh, okay, for 10 okay. years. Let's talk about that. Do you think it but, was handled uh, properly? Uh, okay. The handling of the case, the handling of the case means I was unfairly charged. I was, I was unfairly arrested, unfairly charged, unfairly sentenced. Okay, love of Ukraine. You have an interview. Oguti, all of us never got any justice. My wife never got any justice. I mean, I never got any justice. My mother, who was hit hard by this thing, she even got a stroke. You understand? She never got any justice. If family Yagabo Trish never got any justice, so who got justice? You have an interview. You have an interview. You have an interview. You have an interview. So, uh, no one uh, good what else? Yeah, hey. one, yeah, because yeah. the good handling of the case, I'll tell me, it was not so now. Yeah, to even the the culpable homicide uh, good verdict was not it, yeah, because that means I killed her by mistake. I did not because she went out, she came in, and she passed away. So how could I be a culpable homiciding anybody? Yeah, to it means my, where should have she gone to? Because I'm here. I, okay, ask not to make my deal because it gets so emotional. Give me because it's for me now. It's just a system as a South Africa. I respect it. I need respect at all. You're trying to write in the one to love about wrong. You're trying to write in. Okay. Yeah, I was just talking about you had to take a plea bargain. Ah, uh, plea bargain, Jama. Yeah. I didn't even have to take a plea bargain because they changed my lawyer. But for some white dude who just raised his hand, yeah, we're taking a couple of my side. For what? For what? Mm. What did I do to deserve that? You're trying to marry. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Like I got the I and you know what I said. Uh, uh, the judge he told me, oh good, I'm fine, you going to take, uh, and like I got to take the, the thing because you are, one, you are a victim of circumstance. Mm -hmm. It means you're at the wrong place at, at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we understand, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the hospital, we are poor, somebody dies, the person, ooh, this is coming on my voice. But, ha, ha, you saw him die. Oh, Ganja, how much? Mm. Why should I go to prison for that? Let's ah. move to this one now. Um, I, I want you to take us through your first day in prison. Yeah. I mean, that moment that uh, you landed in prison, and then when you knew that this was your new reality. Yeah. Um, just maybe paint us a picture <laughs> of that day. <laughs> I'm like you're saying, bitch, I'm like it's <coughs> like your the the reality that is real. Yeah, one you leave it there by the door and like by the track mm -hmm. after they opened there and I mean I would I was at high court. Yeah, one I saw good I had chains everywhere. Can't 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 like I'm a murderer, bitch. I went in there with people who who got them on my forty lives, people who who killed people got my bell. I told her I didn't mean any for a kiss in ya. Bung showing a much chain. Quit click, quit click, quit click, quit click, quit. Yeah one, that's when I realized good I I wanna la impilo. Oh she did. And especially my body guilty as charged. Ah, out here. But when I got there, when I got there, ah, balayega because um, uh, Abantu received me uh, well. Yeah, told her that Abantu um, or the guys who were in there on like why it Abantu because the police, the the prisoners, the cleaners, and whoever was there. And no good who followed my show my case. Mm. I, they knew good. This is nonsense. Actually, it was supposed to be at least five years suspended or something. You understand? So they received me well. Yeah, trying that then. Yeah. So yeah, one and I got there without a sheet and stuff. I just had my books with me. Yeah, trying that then. So. Yeah, man, guys gave me blankets, usoli, yaboni, no the pin jam, gave me his captain, like a mama to We understand, I'm afraid to like, I made a new family. 
I understand. When I tried contacting about Banga Pandi, yo, yes, we have a team again. Yo, so Ramvana cannot be associated with sports. Ramvana is bad for my career. Man, just sing a part. I'm going to funny feature. Feature when I put We understand. And I'm so. You want to die, I made a family. Yeah, one, uh, from a sun seat in South Africa, and it was COVID. Yeah. So I was put in a COVID cell. It was now, I was put in another cell. I yeah, one that in, uh, in another good section. They treated me well until they moved me to Butelokop. Yeah, one, Butelokop, when we got there, it was worse. It was, mm. it was, uh, it was number, number area. I yeah, one that in, so there was blood flying every day, but, Mina, luckily, I was treated very well. I told that mm -hmm. and because of the of the way I speak, of of who I am, or where I live. Just, or, I understand. Just lastly, uh, before we go for an break, the experience. What yeah. has been uh, the most important thing that you've learned about yourself when you were there, and then okay. through this whole entire experience yeah. in prison. I mean, you got there and then, you know, they received you uh, very well in there, but obviously there has to be something that you took out yeah. from that place okay. when you were released. When I've learned, and uh, what I've learned about myself was, I'm strong, I'm strong. I want that in. I need a tight corner, I want that in. But I'm a cheater. They turn the situation around. I want that in. So, I grew, man. I grew in a I grew in a way that now uh, life starting. I wouldn't have. Yeah. That's what I did. I even opened the school there. I opened the school, say uh, some music. It was nah. That's what I did for. Uh, uh, yeah. I sit in a lap with just for the sake of time. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Man, I what I found out about myself. I'm strong. I'm strong at what they think I am. I tried that in. Yeah, yeah. Through, through, through the fire, through the ashes, I came out, uh, but in a better man. And like a different man. No, not a different, but a changed man. <laughs> Tulani Ngobo, uh, let's park it there for now. Uh, as I said, my guest uh, tonight is Tulani Peach Perak Afro Ngobo there, unpacking his time and experience in uh, prison. Then we're going to take a quick ad break. When we come back, we conclude the conversation. Now I want us to touch on, uh, you know, where, well, I mean, what happens from now on, music-wise, all these kind of things. We're going to take a quick ad break. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We're getting closer to the end of the show. And we've been in conversation with Tulani Peach Black Afro Novo uh, about uh, his life uh, in prison and uh, since he was released uh, uh, last year also. Uh, but Peach Black, much appreciated for staying on. I mean, as we conclude the conversation, yeah. um, n you've touched on a very important aspect when it comes yeah. to rehabilitation. You said that, look, you were calling people outside and they started changing. Uh, some mm. saying that, look, we can be associated with you and stuff but um i want to know about your biggest adjustment as far as reintegrated into the society uh how have you been received by the community and also by your peers in the industry are people still treating you the same now yeah you see um um i am not going to be like a long time and i'm going to get so to my demo or pala baloi that's why um be bakabanga ukuthi ngizofa kanti ama fans ama fans who use their mental capacity grand accepted me very well ya tshwana dading and understood ukuthi ngidlule kuphi ya tshwana dading angandaba nalaba babizi bakhuluma i ama ama ash yabona mara ngiyasho ngithi um, yeah, Mudimu Palabaloi, the 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 uh, Gosh Babizani, the the other artists, we are trying to die. I'm a Pierre's Wami, we are one dying. They were shunning me, we are trying to die. Manje, it's them calling me. Nati, I understand, I'm the Jesus or Ganja, and we are one. And the Manje, we understand, I mean, I mean, I'm Manje, I'm here just to um, to bow down. Uh, but in in 
But in respect to Abantu Abanganuayo, we are told that they give but are not just bowing down mm. forever, but we are told that they respecting. I tried that in Abantu, Abang, Abang, uh, who believed in me. I tried that in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just giving them their respect back and, yeah, okay. Yeah, just, uh, 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 yeah, uh, I also uh, want to know if you've been in contact with the family of uh, your late wife. Um, have you spoken to them? Um, uh, how is the relationship currently? Yo, I sent my family there with, with a letter, Sienza. Isizulu, Gahe, Isintu, Mara, then they were not received very well, mm -hmm. but not by the whole family. Yabwana, Mara, the family, I know because they used to come a court. Those who came to court, I know they do understand what happened. Yabwana, they were even shouting when they said, You're guilty. They said, No, no, it can't be. You said this, this. Pitch Black is not guilty. But apparently, there's one or two who don't believe that. So who are making a situation very weird for everyone. So I was asked not to, not to engage with them. Yeah, show myself. Yeah, yeah, one. Mara, in the room, good logo. I need to say, in the room, good logo. Oguti manje, mena, I'm missing the opportunity of finding out where my wife, oh, okay, mwaba manje, but in a sapiding it to my wife, it where my woman, mm. the woman I was with 23 years, was buried. I told her they was buried. So that Nami no beggar in each. Mm. I told her that so I'm denied that 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 opportunity, opportunity. and then lay you get you want a hat in money you want it's it's in it's not this a statement to learn in, in, in the interest of time now killer. I want to get into your music now or where to from here any plans uh, are you planning to release an album okay. soon are you working with uh, certain okay. artists in, in okay the okay space? okay I have I have a single I've, I've just released now called no sunshine so it's um it's an adaptation from Ingo Magapili with us you one a ain't no sunshine yeah. I tried that in so you one yeah so that's my last letter or not last letter but it's my letter to to my chomi, to Impinjami, whom I won't be able to see again. And I was not able to bury Yabone Kinen. And in a previous song, I said I will never let her go. And it happened. And she slipped Yabon to my fingers. And I asked Ganjani, you know, I asked Ganjani by I asked Ganjani, I asked Ganjani. But okay, go right, go right. Okay, more chance. Yeah, one day, Mara, okay, I did that singing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to EP in the end. Yeah, yeah, because I've seen so much wrong. In the end, we are going to go, our youth, our nation, our, our way of thought. So yeah, the six songs I wrote in the, about your clarifier or to to show people what am I thinking? Manj, you are trying that to for you for you I know so they born and they need lang. You want Mara? Nene crew. I've discovered not the one to a peace party. I've discovered peace play. Mara peace play was number one. Eh, go radio for eight weeks. We should move and come over and open the petrol man. You go get the studio. We said I discovered peace play. Meaning it, I discovered because I taught them how to write. I taught them how to rhyme. I tried that thing. By years, a man, a man, cheater. I've discovered them. Uzo babo na ngasik tala. Yabo na kwa the couple of crews coming out. Uh, uh, yeah, isn't all. 
Yeah, isn't all like in Yatubega, but I mean, I want to be behind the scenes much more than, than, yeah, what, well, yeah. Peace Black Afro, Afro, much appreciated uh, to Lenin Novo for coming in the studio and sharing your story with us. And uh, uh, we hope that uh, we'll be able to get your music on uh, various platforms, but much appreciated for coming. As keep up my talks. Yeah, definitely you will get my music in like in every platform. I want that day. My, I want to put much if you want me now is that get the, uh, 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 the real pitch break afro. Yeah, try that day. Like in Jamaica, shy that day or would the journey uh, uh, good goes on. I want that day. Hashtag that. I want that day. We are we don't talk like but a pitch black afro. Yeah, it's gonna be it's yeah. gonna be loud. Yeah, it's we're, gonna we're definitely going to play your music. When you release it, give, a, give it to our music department. We'll definitely oh, play Gina. it here in, uh, at Soweto TV. But much appreciated for coming uh, uh, to Lani That was uh, to Lani popularly known as Peach uh, Black Afro, sharing his story uh, of his life uh, before and after prison, and also talking to us about uh, what the future holds uh, for him. That's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at Soweto TV, or rather Soweto Today at Soweto TV dot co dot today. Or you can simply just give us a call or WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. Bahai to Naketabu Mulukwani and the rest of the team, good night and thank you for watching. Just stay tuned for the latest news update with Mas Chaba Kovola coming up next.